of usually initial consonant sounds. Um, so uh, th this is a very, very natural thing for English speakers to do. Uh, and that it, 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 it's memorable, it comes easily, it's one of the first really poetry things that we did, poetic um, devices that we ever used in, in English. Um, people will do it naturally without, without knowing that they're doing it. Um, things will stay memorable. For, if you can think of the old ad, cam ad campaign from the 80s, uh, come see the softer side of Sears. Um, I can remember that, and the reason I can remember it is the alliterative, right? I'm, I'm not, I was never really terribly excited about Sears. I mean, it's just it's Sears, right? Um, but uh, the, the alliteration keeps it in your mind. It's why you say boy band rather than boy group, and you say girl group rather than girl band, right? It, it, you do that naturally. Um, and so, so th okay, so th that, that, that makes things memorable, which means you probably want it in a prof profound part of your poem if you're going to use it. However, don't go too far with it. Uh, after a while, the snakes slither stealthy, slowly, you know, and after it's like, it's like almost too much to, to handle. Just a couple of, a couple of words usually, it goes a very, very long way. Um, okay, so try alliteration if you like, don't, if you, if you, would, if you would rather not. Um, we're going to work on the early morning outside poem today, continuing on with our, our nature theme for this month. Um, and I've got a poem by Donna Hilbert. Donna Hilbert, uh, a great poet from Long Beach. And she writes about, uh, she very often writes about the, the ocean because she, she lives right, right near the ocean. Um, and this is called Fog and Morning. She says, lone pelican in the air, the city that looks like air. He says, I see a trace of breakwaters, eastern shore. No, she says, it's more romantic to see one pelican. He says, I see, right? And so uh, she's able to use this, the, the early morning to create a feeling of, of closeness and of love because it's, it's different than other moments of the day, right? There, there's, there's a closeness there. Okay, so that's your, your, your prompt for today. Try to capture that early morning outside, and if, if you're with somebody outside, that's great. If you're not, that's outside. But there are special things about the early morning and being outside that you can do. Okay, and I'll see you tomorrow. Post downstairs. Oh, uh, the journal. I almost forgot to talk about the journal. The journal is a great magazine from... Um, the, the, how do they say it? The Ohio University. The Ohio University. Um, and the, the, this, this is a big one. You should try it. Because um, here, here's the good thing about trying a big magazine like the Journal. You are going to get rejected. And if you've never been rejected before, it's fantastic. And you get your first rejection out of the way. And you, you know that not, there are no stakes anyway. So, and then if you do, that's great.